online. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, we should be good. Are we on? Can you see me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 This is Mary Gunn from Mary Gunn Fun, founder and head professor of Fun University. But this is not Fun University. This is Craft Roulette, the ultimate paper crafting, paper, let's see, paper crafting card making game show challenge. If you've never been here and you like card making and you are kind of like, want to see if we can do it or not, it's not off to a great start. So you, you just never know. Um, Stick around, you might like it. We have a wonderful guest crafter and we're gonna let her say hi to you all so that Mr. Producer, who is on the other side of the table and runs the whole show, can hear her and make sure her voice is okay. So Mari, take it away. Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. I am super excited to be here for Craft Roulette tonight. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, I know, I need to tell you something. So, um, this is the pre-show, guys, if if you've never seen the show. We're going to, we're going to start at 6.30 if you're watching the scroll, watching a replay. Scroll forward, say hi. Leave a nice comment, hit that thumbs up, share all that kind of stuff. We really appreciate it. But we did start something, Mari, and I um, hit Christine with it last week, and she I had forgot to tell her. So we have this little section of the show after we do our interview part. <laughs> so we should have done this earlier, but now you're kind of getting the pre, like the backs behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> and I, and it's a little video and it's about what is craft roulette. And I have to decided that it should be the only scripted line you have of the night. So okay. when, and then, <laughs> so all you're going to have to say is what is craft roulette? Okay, perfect. Okay. Can you remember that line? I can. And will you, what's my cue to say that? I'll say, hey, Mari, can you ask what is craft roulette? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I got that. Okay. I can do that. Okay, you don't have to answer it. That's, that's what okay. poor Christine tried to do last week. She tried to answer it and it was like, oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> she was a really good sport about it. But, um, yep. What Perfect. is craft roulette? So, you, yeah. What is? It's kind of like you can practice. Do you want to do all, go all Shakespeare on it? Do you sure. want to do, I wish I do you had my skull, my last skull? poor Yorick skull here. <laughs> <laughs> last poor Yorick. What is craft roulette? What is craft roulette? Uh, <laughs> you can do Mac Lady Macbeth, the witches from Macbeth. Um, yeah. Oh, we shouldn't say that because, well, this isn't a we theater, shouldn't. so we're you, safe. We're uh, safe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope we're safe. Um, anyway, yep. So that's going to be your one scripted line. Other than that, okay. we don't have a clue what we're going to be talking about. Well, I know I have some questions. I've got some really good questions from our okay. patrons Great. later. So, man, they really came out of the woodwork, too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six questions. So I won't even have to no. think. All I have to do is ask. Nice. That mm. is nice. Chatterboxes, looks like you guys are in fine form if you haven't ever been here we'd love to say hi to you and we've got the nicest chatter boxes in the whole world they will welcome you with open emoticons so do say hi say i i've never been here should i stay and we'll say oh yeah stay it's good <laughs> for sure this is improvisational card making and we will be finding out what we're gonna do we don't know what we're doing yet right. all good that's the excitement, nervous? right? You're not nervous. Me? No. I don't feel I don't feel nervous, but maybe when I see the parameters I will be. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's hard to it's hard to get know what's gonna happen. You don't know. It's it's no. uh, that's the whole th beauty of it. No, you don't I'm know. I'm just what's here for the happen. fun, so I'm I'm not here to be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. We like yeah. that. We should have a pretty good evening. You betcha. If I you guys, will. Uh, Mari is from Canada, so that'll be, I we are like pretty much just directly south from where she Do is. South. Yeah. So yes, it's finally it, spring it, here in Canada. Spring has finally sprung here in the the prairies, and I think it was plus seventeen degrees or something like that here today Celsius. So. That just felt glorious. We've had a really oh. horrible, we had a really horrible winter. It was super, super cold and tons yeah. of snow. So we're really happy Eek. that spring is here. Do you have um, 
tulips blooming yet or not yet um not yet. i don't I have tulip bulbs i have peonies in my yard but my daughter does have um some bulbs planted and i see that they're she has shoots about that high so my peony shoots yeah. are about that high Ooh, they nice are, yeah yeah and we've had beautiful awesome. trees the last couple of weeks the um the mm -hmm. plums are done red buds crab apples they've all they've just so pretty oh gorgeous yeah. Now they're all so, leafing out. But it was yeah, good. It was a pretty nice. spring. We don't like our buds are just coming out slightly. Yeah. Yeah. You're you've got quite a shorter, much shorter growing season Absolutely. than we do. Yeah. Like last year mm -hmm. we had no snow by the beginning of April and April was beautiful. And this year, just like we had snow a week ago. So <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been very nice at all. <laughs> Which really sucks yeah, it because sound good. it's a short season, so yeah. Yeah. But you guys grow a lot of wheat, don't you? Mm -hmm. there. We do too. Yeah. We have a lot Canola, of canola, wheat. wheat, flax seed, barley, oats, like yeah, all that stuff. Lots That's of potash here cool. in Saskatchewan too, tons of potash. You're very very country. Very rural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oats mm -hmm. are so pretty when they are waving. They're so mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, oh it's really pretty here in the summer. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of bugs then? Or yeah, get we in and get out? Have, like if it's wet, if it's a wet um, season, we will have lots of mosquitoes. But if it's dry, like here in the city that I live in, we don't have that many bugs, but where our cottage is going to be, where we're building that cottage, it's, it can be, there can be lots of bugs. Yeah. 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 We had so many bugs when we lived at the lake. That was mm -hmm. one of the, I got so, ticks. I was so tired of ticks. Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's gross. <laughs> Let me just. We used to do at the <laughs> clinic that I worked in, we'd do the happy tick dance. It was like, yeah. I'm a tick and I'm so happy uh, to be stuck in you. And it was like, <laughs> oh, you are so gross. Your little head is. No. Uh, yeah. Gross is right. I don't, I don't care for ticks either. <laughs> no. 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 They are not good, good friends of mine, at least, but. Then there's the little tiny ones or the brown ones that the dogs would get. And you wouldn't find them until they were like grapes. It was disgusting. Yeah. Ugh. Ah. I don't think we have ticks on the parameter list, though, so I think we're safe. <laughs> <sighs> we're safe from the ticks. There, you never know what's going to be on the parameters, but I can almost guarantee ticks will never be on it. <laughs> it just... <laughs> I see Not a few my of my friends in the comments, Mary. I see Brenda. Hi, Hi yeah. Brenda. See my sister Lynn is in the comments. Hi, Lynn. Very nice. Yeah. So nice to have so you guys. Nice. Yeah. That, awesome. Uh, that means a lot when when you yeah, see your friends in the comments, doesn't it? Yeah. I love it. Oh, chiggers Please. too, Melissa. You're right. Chiggers are the pits. Yeah. Travis Boone is in the comments too. He said, hey, I'm only 15 minutes from Mari. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, we were talking about you, Travis. We, we were. were. Yeah. Generally, Sandy and Rico are there too. Awesome. Rico's the dog. I love Sandy's designs. They're beautiful. I know. They are. So talented. She mm -hmm. is. She's one of my faves. And I like her digitals because I don't have to wait. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yep. I like how she draws her girls, her women. Mm -hmm. They're nice and mm -hmm. beautiful. I'm getting the time sign. Time okay. sign. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I'm going to yawn one more time because that, that's how I get started. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. We're going to take you off. We're going to do a little housekeeping merge, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll Sounds bring good. you back on. We'll get this show started. Thank Perfect. you, Chatterboxes, for showing up. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Thank you, Mari. We'll get this started, started now. Ooh. Ah. Well, I'm Mary Gunn. I'm Mary Gunn, fun founder and hip professor of Fun University. And you are intrepid host 
is Tui, Craft Roulette, episode number 110, where we get to meet a new guest crafter, Mari Clark, and I think we're going to have a good time, you guys, so stick around. If you have never been to Craft Roulette, we are the ultimate paper crafting, card making, game show challenge, and we do that every week, Friday at 6.30, and we have so many nice friends here. Oh, Connie, I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for being here with us if you're watching the replay. We would love to hear hear from you. Just leave us a lovely comment. It doesn't have to be long. Just something nice like, good job. Nice, nice work. Fun night. F-U-N-N. -N. Something like that. It would be all so great. And go ahead and do that share thing and thumbs up. It means so much to us. Also, um, open a new tab. Go to Mari Clark's Creations and subscribe to hers as well, either now or later. We'll remind you. Um, do I have any housekeeping? Not too much. We do have lovely merchandise, however. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We don't have the one that comes up, in it, but it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you have never been on the show, you don't know what that means yet, but it is an important part of our show. We have a lot. Oh, look at that. That looks familiar. We do have a lot of traditions here on Craft Roulette. This is our, we have started our third year, and some of these traditions have just organically um, evolved and some we have forced. But one of them is Team Orange and Team Purple. We are gonna ask Mari what she is. I know what you guys think she is. We'll find out if you're right. Anyway, merch helps us a lot. And we love that people wear these wonderful shirts all over the world. Um, quick note, Lee Kendall, I hope surgery goes well and that you feel better. Happy birthday to Katie Fowler yesterday. Thank you so much for being a part of our group. We appreciate both of you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day in recovery. All right. Um, we are a community-sponsored organization. We don't have, we don't sell anything. We, I'm not even going to teach anything tonight, so... Uh, we're just going to have a good time and do some paper crafting. Does that sound okay? It sounds okay to me. Um, but we do have a Patreon. So if you, we are going to talk about that later too because Mari also has a Patreon. So we will be doing that. Um, we do have two new patrons since last week. We have Teresa Parmenter and Kathy Prunty. We thank you guys so much for joining our community. It is a busy little place over there on our Patreon blog and it's so much fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, tomorrow I do have scrapbook game with Club Fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing you ladies again. Uh, scrapbook game is just what it sounds like. It is a scrapbooking with a game. And so, you know, Craft Roulette is card making with a game, scrapbooking with a game. You see the you see the progression here of my brain. It's just how it all works. And let's make a game out of it. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I don't think so. Can't think of anything. Oh, I do too. If you want to be a patron and you don't want us, anybody to know, I discovered that it is a thing to sign up under a pseudonym. So um, you can sign up under Mark Twain. Like he was not Mark Twain. He was Samuel Clemens, I think. So you can make up a name and you can be a spin sister or um, a woe queen. I don't know. You can go totally woe. Um, anyway, you can do that, and then nobody will know who you are if you want to keep anonymous, because I don't know. It all works, I, but I did just discover that tonight. Shall we invite our nice, nice guest crafter from Saskatchewan, her first time here on Craft Roulette, Mari Clark. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much, Mary. You're very, very welcome. Okay. We're so mm. glad to have you here. I know our group, which we have a Facebook group, and they were very excited that you were going to be on. Awesome. So, got I'm some fans out there. Thank anyway. you for asking me. I'm, I feel very honored to have been asked. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your crafty life. We'd love to know a little bit more. Sure. sure. Well, my husband and I have two beautiful kids, and we are semi-retired. And I was a teacher for many, many years. And during that time that I was a teacher, I also really loved to craft. And I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, loved to, you know, get together with friends and craft together, whether it was scrapbooking or, or card making. 
And over the years, of course, have scrapbook trips and made cards, always made my own homemade cards and that sort of thing. Um, and about seven years ago in 2015, I started my own YouTube channel. And that just kind of led to a lot of other things, really. So mm -hmm. now I do lots of design work for, for companies. I'm a designer for Honeybee Stamps. And I also am an educator for Crafters Companion, the U.S. division. Um, I also work for a company from the Netherlands called Studio Light. I'm on their North American promotion team. Mm -hmm. And I also design from, um, with a cut file company called Just Nick Studio. And I work with a team in Calgary, or a, I should say a store in Calgary called the Paper and Ink Boutique. And I also contribute to the Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine YouTube channel. Once a month, I have a little series on there called Try Trendy and True. And I kind of um, pop in and out of that during the year. Um, but I have that little series that's ongoing. And yeah, so that's... <laughs> That's it. I just really love being in my That's craft it. space and I enjoy crafting and I now have a little grandson. So I'm busy scrapbooking his photos and I just I'm just loving being able to do this um, in my retirement. And yeah. I don't really feel like I'm retired anymore, but that's fine. Um, it's all good. And I love what I do. So, yeah. Right. Right. No, that's quite a bit of action. That's those you just listed a whole bunch of deadlines is what you you know you just have <laughs> deadline after deadline yeah. so you must be a super organized person your your yeah. little space behind you is what quite organized <laughs> we were talking about that before the show yeah but you are a busy little crafter I am and I did forget to mention Patreon but you mentioned that before but I also love that it's just a really nice group of people and it's just fun and I get to just do whatever I want and Mm -hmm. very supportive and mm -hmm. I love it. So yeah, I love that community. Yeah, it is. And mm -hmm. what, if you aren't familiar with Patreon, Patreon is a way to support artists. And, mm -hmm. um, because last time I checked, I still have bills that are in, involved with this show, the two shows that yeah. we do. And, yeah. um, there's like, you know, just things that you just don't, I don't want anybody to have to worry about. No, so exactly. it's just a way to do that. But it's fun to offer extra stuff on mm -hmm. the side and mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a community that is supportive. And exactly. then, you know, it's just, do you, do you just feel a great um, appreciation for them? Because I know. Totally. Totally. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Like, I I, I'm so grateful for, for them and just their, you know, their choice to come to me for extra inspiration and to support. And I, I really love it. It's pretty yeah. special. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It is a wonderful thing. I always want to say, if you're not able to support us, and you mm -hmm. as well, I'm. We don't. That's not our get. That's not our jam. Mm -hmm. Don't worry no. about that. There's always sharing. There's always thumbs up. There's always positive comments. Absolutely. Um, there's always con contributions. So um, to the card situations and things like that. So if mm -hmm. you're not able, don't worry. Enjoy exactly. what we offer on the public sure. site. So, yeah. 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 I think that but my YouTube channel has over 800 videos on it. So Isn't there's tons, tons of inspiration there from seven years that's absolutely free to everyone. So, yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're we're live eight times a month. Completely exactly. free. So, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. So, well, you've watched Craft Roulette a little bit. Yes. Do you think the wheel is going to be naughty or nice? Um, I think nice. I think it's going to be very nice. Are you going to put your um, teacher face? Give them a little teacher face there like you're talking in the right back, now? back row. Do you want me yeah, to do just... my teacher face? It's scary, yeah, Mary. let's see it. Is it really? You're... Oh, my gosh. That's, that is scary. <laughs> Mary, like, it's terrifying. It is. <laughs> I had a teacher, and I won't say her name because I think she's still alive. She must be very old. But she um, she could smile. She would smile, and she'd grit her teeth, and she'd just say, we aren't leaving this room until I get what I need. Anyway, <laughs> it was, um, yeah, she had, that was scary, that white, that just that, that smile. Was yeah. Almost, well, oh, I taught yeah, high school, faces. so I needed to have a really good teacher face. Like, it was <laughs> necessary. Did. It was required. 
<laughs> yeah, no kidding. Claire back in the back row could see could feel that yeah. vibe. I'm pretty yeah, sure. But yeah. it's a vibe that you know goes it. with it too. It's not just the teacher face. It's the it's vibe. True. It's that yeah. energy. It's the aura. Um, it is. I had a I worked in a group of high schoolers and junior high schoolers like 100 at a time and they would have their little break and you had to get them back to class after their little break and so I had a cowboy bell and I would just go herd them like cows right <laughs> and there were some kids that would go oh Mrs. Gunn Mrs. Gunn can I do that can I do that and I'd say no you honestly can't and they said no I want to try I want to try so I let one kid do it once and it was like they do the cowbell and the kids would look at them like whatever and then I took that cowbell, dink, dink, and they were gone. <laughs> so yeah. it was, and it was that, yeah, got to get them moving. So <laughs> anyway. They knew. All right. I am looking forward to tonight getting to mm-hmm. see what our parameters are going to be. I think if you think, it, I think after that teacher phase, Mr. Wheel is going to fall in line and do whatever. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's, yeah. he's quivering. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to fall in line and do whatever you want. So that'll be good. Um, this is the time that you get to say your okay. one scripted line of the night. Are you ready? Okay. And it, it's like this. What is craft roulette? What is craft roulette? Oh, man, that's... What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfund.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. That's what Craft Roulette is, and we invite you to join us every Friday night at 6.30 Central Time, because we have fun, doggone it. Um, whoa, see what I mean? If you were here at the beginning when you say, when I talked about my whoa shirt, there, there's all those woes. <laughs> whoa is me, whoa is me. No, we're not, that's, that's never really happened. Well, there's been a few times that that's really happened on the show, whoa is me. But I don't think it's going to happen tonight, because we got teacher face going on. Last week, we had some pretty cool parameters. But first, let's look at all the places our cards came from. There you guys are, your little pins all over the world. I just love seeing this. And then when you when you see all the cards, you'll see where those pins just float all over, right to the very place where those people live. Not their house, not their address. You cannot find them, but it will be fun for you to float, watch the little pins float along. So thank you for sending those in last week. Our parameters were calendar for a project, and it doesn't mean that we did all calendars. Yellow plus two other colors plus neutrals are always a given. Element was bees, and the random one was a plain circles, which ended up not being a boring thing at all. You guys did some very, very interpretive kind of expressions there. And the cards that you're about to see, if you have not seen them, um, are just wonderful. Uh, We ended up with 118 of them. And uh, everyone is different. It was wonderful. We did talk about it on Fun University last Tuesday. So if you want to talk more about, hear what we had to say about those, just watch Fun University, which is our sister YouTube channel. Okay, that was mine. That was Christine. Christine is one of our favorite friends that comes on every once, about three times a year. Her, She is the 
purple princess party queen, I'm telling you that. She leads the purple team purple with great pride. And um, she was so excited about these parameters. She just grabbed them and made something gorgeous. I talked to her this week, or I was emailing her this week. And I said, did you see all the cards and, and weren't they wonderful? And she said, there were so many bees. <laughs> and she wrote a really long with a lot of E's. So many bees. And so um, I said, well, there weren't too many purple bees. So, and that's her purple f is her favorite. So I made a little purple bee card just to make sure that she knows how much we appreciate her. That is on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, we had a great time. I'm going to take a drink because the next part is on a timer. I get to say 118 names. We do want to say a thank you to our leading ladies who are the people who have never, they just have so many submissions you can't even believe. We have zero heroes and those are the people that have made contributions in the denominations of 10, 20, 30s and beyond. Um, and then we have three new first time people we're excited for and two Club 52s, which means they have sent in 52 cards a year's worth of cards i think this is an outstanding group your faithfulness your dedication is just remarkable and you know what i think so shall we let's enjoy 118 cards let's go mr producer and luann we knew that one was coming first didn't we smurf Allison, Mary, Deanna, Meg, 5K, Lisa, Sue, all different, all beautiful, Lisa. Lynn, she's a Club 52. Jira, first submission, welcome. Agnes. Linda. Terry. Brenda. Susie, from Illinois. Tammy. Debbie, Anna, both of them are pretty, Marie, Steph, Bonnie, 65 consecutive, Tanya, Bridget, Arlene, Vicky, Regina, Sue, Barbara, Athena, Rebecca, Patty Beck, our leading lady, Debbie. Anna, Lena, Balin, Rosie, Cordelia, Deanna, <laughs> Larissa, Susan. Rose, Leslie, Jen, thank you, Sherry, Andy, Pam, Vicky, Camille, <laughs> Lynn. 
Lynn. Buell. 40. April. Wanda. Stacy. Sherry. See you Sunday. Catherine. Marie. Carol, 60. Mary Ellen. Crystal. There's some purple bees. Melissa. I know you're here. Elise. Grandma Gay. Karen. Teresa. Laura, who's not here tonight. Marion. <laughs> Karen. Arlene. Kay. Deputy Heidi. Kathy. Karen. Oh, so many bees. Lisa. Kim. Bonnie. Stacy. Ellen. Lisa. That was so clever. Jean. Mary B. Celestia. Celestia. I always have trouble. Kim. The great Julie. Sylvia Putrajic. Anna. Carmen. Jackie. Also a leading lady. TR. Debbie, her first. Welcome. Ava. Elaine. Dawn. Mary. Kendra. Melanie. Monica. Chassid. Mary Moisen. Dawn. Amy. Lynn. Chris. Gina. Emily. Denise. 49. Peg. Wendy. Christina. This is the first time to do that kind. Lauren. Cheryl. Vicky. Welcome back. Dina. <laughs> Sue, also a leading lady. Heather. Bryce, a junior crafter. That was it. Yes, I see that your note there, Patty Beck. Um, do I feel like the Miss Janie on Romper Room? I if I had a mirror that didn't that didn't have a mirror in it, yes. But generally, I kind of feel a little bit like Burt Parks, too, reading, And here comes Miss Illinois, Susie Fick. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of like reading off the beauty pageant of cards, too. So uh, fabulous job, you guys. Um, so clever the way you used calendar. I thought that was just a 
really you just went with it i i like the planners in the background i like the little stamped little things that you did it was very very clever pulling in those plain circles it i thought it was going to be kind of a boring thing it turned out to be a great element on the card so well done yeah, so many bees. Some of them were in sentiment. Some of them were the little buzzy bees. It was fun. It's fun to see what colors you chose with yellow. Great job. Just super great job. But now that we've gone through that, and if you want to see those again, go to craftroulette.live and you can see the gallery at your own time and take notes and enjoy it and copy and all that kind of good stuff. But it is time. Yes, kiss your brains is right. It's time to bring back Miss Mare and see what we're going to get tonight. Shall we? There she is. <laughs> Do you wish you'd done bees? Would bees been fun parameter bees for you? Bees would have been really fun. Yes, I have a lot of bee stuff from yeah. honeybees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Duh, I guess so. <laughs> I walked right into that one. That was a nice big <laughs> curveball or softball, wasn't it? Gosh. Um, yeah. If you had, if you got to choose your own parameters, which you do not, even with that mean teacher face. What would you choose? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. I mean, probably I would just, you know, make an A2 size card, top folding. Um, I would pick, can I tell you my favorite colors? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd well. Probably... Okay. I'll tell you. We can, let's just take care of this right now. Okay. Here, one of our traditions on Craft Roulette is we have two political factions we have team orange and team purple mm -hmm. i think you can you can cross me if you want and the the group and i both think you are team purple yeah. i mean team look purple at your room yeah, yeah you're team purple i'm team purple yeah yeah it look was, at your it room. was my mom's favorite color <laughs> and and i love purple so but i like orange too mm -hmm. i don't have an aversion to orange but i do really love purple <laughs> <laughs> well, purple and orange look really good together too. Yeah, but you would look. You personally would could wear purple every yes. day and always look fresh and beautiful. I have purple in my closet for sure, but I I probably <laughs> so, use my favorite color is okay. aqua, so I'd probably okay. use aqua or some color of blue because blue is my mm -hmm. favorite favorite color, and I probably would do something with flowers. I'm kind of a florally mm -hmm. person. Um, Can't go wrong. I like to add texture to my projects. So something with texture, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it would be beautiful because I think you make beautiful cards. So I think you, you would, if you got to choose your parameters, it would just be something outstanding. Yep. You're okay. getting some purple hearts there. They knew it. Yeah. They called it. They knew it. They were. <laughs> and then there was one and Card Monkey pointed out you had one card on your Pin, they go all Columbo and trying to figure out if our new <laughs> our new guests are Team Orange or Team Purple. Yeah, and they um, Card Monkey posted a picture of a card that you had made and it had orange and purple, so it confused her. <laughs> she, yeah. I saw that. That was the two lovely layers <laughs> tulips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is tough. They they just get all in it. So I, but we were mm. right this time, guys. So well done. Yeah. Well, this is the time that we're going to start buckling down and, and thinking okay. about the what Sounds we're going to do tonight. This okay. is Mr. Wheel. There he is. There he is. And those are the parameters that we get to choose from. Um, every week, our patrons get to decide to veto some of the parameters. And that just means that the wheel can't boss us around and make us do those vetoed parameters. For colors, they have vetoed pink plus three. Now, if we get something in colors and you can still, and you think you can p pull in the pink plus three, you're good to go. For element, they said, no, we're not, we don't want to do an envelope this week. No envelope. So if you want to add an envelope to whatever we make and it works, that's fine. But they say, it can't make us do it. And then for random, they say no grid, no grid, number five. Okay. All right. Okay. Now this is your chance, your one and only chance. Would you like to veto something, Mari? No, I'm going to just be brave and I'm going to go for it. Yep. All right. 
All right. Well, I do see that A2 card up there. I see some flowers, I think. Do I see? Uh -huh. Yes, there's some flowers. Um, there's some purple. Yep, there's some purple on there. Or, yeah, you should be able to do something. Um, random, I'm not sure if we can get you too much texture, but we'll try to. I'm sure you could fit it in <laughs> if you wanted to. So let's give this guy a warm up. Sure. She is a player, Deputy Heidi. All right, and for project, let's find out. We're going to talk about each and every one of these and discuss them. So don't, if you see something, you just go, huh? <laughs> Sit back, relax, and we'll cover oh, it. Oh, lucky 13. <laughs> lucky 13 is alpha stamp card. So we're going to have to alpha stamp. We've talked about that one before, but it's, it's not a bad one. You can do an A2 on that. Colors, let's see. There's a lot of purple on the chat room tonight. Oh, one forest colors. Oh. Forest colors could, we'll talk eh. about that. What are we going to yeah. make? What kind of element are we going to pull in with the forest colors and the alpha stamped card? 23, sir. Goes well together. Things that go well together and something that's random. I always think of peanut butter and jelly, but I don't think I have anything to do with that. It's purple. <laughs> you could in the forest. Uh, two, something with a pre-printed element. Pre-printed. Okay. Yeah. Are you wishing you'd vetoed something? No. Mm -mm. Okay. No, I think the wheel was really kind. It was that, was that face. Teacher look. It was. was that teacher yeah, look? it was. It was good. It's very, <laughs> very effective. Yeah. Okay. Let's break this down and see. get our brain started here. Um, an alpha stamped card. Alpha stamp card. Um, what traditionally I think of taking a stamp and stamping some like letters. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you? I think that's what comes to my mind, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think we had this once before and we we talked about it and any kind of sentiment has alphabet stamped on it. So if you sure. want to go that way, you could or um, alpha also has other meanings like the beginning. So a beginning of anything, I suppose, a day or a life i don't know but um that's, abstract. that's pretty abstract that's true <laughs> that's but if we've got some <laughs> <laughs> but if we've got some ab we've got some abstract <laughs> thinkers <laughs> out there yes um cool. words that yeah so alpha alpha so i i'm not sure if i'll just punt and do like a sentiment or if I'll do a background or some kind of design with alphas. Or, you know, I, well, no, it's a stamp. So you can't do like a stencil, but you could do a stencil with some alf some stamps in it. If you had a, sure. if you had a yeah. stencil of letters. Yeah. So, okay. I think, I think that will be okay. Letter background, Monica, okay. I think that would be good. Yeah. And here's another tie in. I don't usually jump to random. But pre-printed is going to have some sort of letters on it also. But they have to be stamped. But if it's been stamped in a printing press. <laughs> I don't think anything's stamped in a printing press anymore. Could it be pre-printed <laughs> like a paper? Gutenberg like Bible? What? Like patterned paper? Pre-printed paper. Yeah, pre-printed yeah. paper. Yeah, like pattern paper. That's... Pattern paper would be totally pre-printed. Yeah. At least you, unless you make your own. <laughs> and then, it's, <laughs> then you could do an alpha stamp card. But yep. yeah. And yep. someone, someone suggested that too in the comments. That's a we've good got, idea. We've got yeah. some good thinkers out there. Magazine clippings, mm -hmm. pre-printed. Um, yeah. Collage. Yes, Danica. Oh, this could be pretty fun. I think, you know, Miss Mari, I love the weeks that everybody just starts going, I'm going to take it here and I'm going to take I it there. It. 
and then we get this so gallery that's just full of of interesting things forest colors can you put purple with that um like when i think about forest colors like a forest can have all colors a tropical forest oh, you yeah. can have rainbow like don't you think uh, oh yeah oh yeah. yeah you can definitely take that anywhere so um you could have lots of greens lots of browns or a few greens and browns you can have mm-hmm. sky colors, um, mm-hmm. flowers, animals, forest animals. I don't, I don't know. Um, and it's fun. Sometimes we end up putting all the parameters together, kind of literally, like, oh, I'm going to make a forest that goes two things that go well together in a forest with some pre-printed paper, <laughs> and then it starts to all get congealed into these incredible things. But it's great fun, yeah. and then goes well together. Um, hmm. What goes well together for you? Flowers and flowers in a vase? You like? I mean, yeah. Florals? I think things that go well together are things that you just naturally think pair up. Like, um, you know, it could like a, a pencil and eraser. They go well together. Um, you know, anything that works together. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think you'll do? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know. Well together. I'm, I'm going to look through. I'm going to go and shop my stash, my honeybee yeah. stash. and Yeah. Find some goodies. And by the way, if you send in a card last week, we're going to give, be giving away some goodie bags at the end of the mm-hmm. show. So stick around. And then next week, make sure you put be putting in a card this weekend with these parameters because... Mari does some work with Honeybee Stamps, and they are going to be donating a $25 gift certificate to one of our viewers that send in a card this weekend. So, well, that's great. Yeah. Um, oh, flowers and bees. Back to bees, Cheryl. <laughs> Typewriters and letters, forests and birds and bee- trees. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there's so many options here. I there really are. I think it's really are. wide open. Yeah. I think so. I think so. And I think mm-hmm. it's going to be one of those things you go through your stamps and you go, I, I think these, you know, stamp sets go together with so many yeah. things. So, okay. For sure. All right. Is your brain going then? Yeah. You have some it's ideas? Going. All mm-hmm. right. Okay. Well, let's let you go get your things okay. and um, tell Mr. Producer when you're ready and we'll bring you back okay. on. All okay. right. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well done. Grandma Gay, gnomes and robots work together. <laughs> well, well, there you go. They do in my world. But um, I'm not sure they're going to do that tonight. We do We do want to make sure that you know the neutrals are free. Whoopsie. Black, gray, white, cream, tan, brown, and metallics. You can always use those in addition with the forest colors. I think you're going to be able to do almost any color you want. Pizza and beer. There you go. Um, this is our address. If you do want to send us a card, it is Mary Gun Fun, P.O. Box 480566, Kansas City, Missouri, 64148. Um, we do have another challenge going on. We have a midweek challenge now these days. And the midweek challenge is for patrons to participate in and everybody to enjoy. Last week, they did the, hmm, I can't remember what, oh, it was number 45. Plus, we give a fifth parameter to the original four parameters. This was the card that I made for my retro challenge, and it's a mini gatefold. We revisit an old episode. episode. That's right. So, this... This is mine. You can go to craftroulette.live and go to episode archive and then scroll down to 45 and you can see patron or extra gallery, bonus bonus, bonus gallery or something like that. And you can see the ones that people sent in. They're really, really cute. So you can be in inspired once again plus because we've had so many shows now we can we can start having fun with old ones too this is the next one that they got this week and i will release that to the public on next wednesday um we did do a lot of cards on (laughs) just a few cards (laughs) for uh, fun university last week so if you are interested in learning more about Fun University, that is our sister YouTube channel when I take a parameter 
from the week before and experiment and dissect it and make it into something more fun and I don't know some more information I try to actually teach there okay I'm gonna think I, I think I'm gonna start with um, some stamps Since honeybees being so sweet, I think I've got a honeybee stamp right there. I also have, I don't have too many honeybee stuff, but I have this. So things that go together are fruit. Fruit goes together with its each other, doesn't it? And then you could do forest colors. I don't know what I have for, maybe fruit I can find bowl. some fruit and bowl yeah my favorite that's the, what i always say when somebody says what goes together fruit and bowl peas and carrots yes um well fruit and bowl does go together but do i don't have a bowl this big though mr producer fruit and worms i don't want a worm um <laughs> okay make Make every friends okay, so I could do friends make everything sweeter. This would, could be sweeter with the fruit, right? Those things go together. Pre printed, hmm. let's go to the little things first strawberries and whipped cream. That's a good idea. There's a print. Do I have anything pre printed in this little tiny box so I can stick something pre? Oh, there's a leaf. Stick something pre-printed on it. Here's a little tiny piece of pre-printed. I don't really want yellow green though, but that yellow green. There's a pre-printed. I can make something out of almost nothing. There, um, there. People are on the move now. It's kind of fun because they're taking their craft supplies with them for craft roulette, and they're coming up with. Um, all sorts of things. It's really great. You guys are doing well. Alpha wolf. That's, you know, we got a couple alpha dogs around here, and that is a thing. Okay. If we do strawberries, I'm going to pull out a couple more th options here. Flower, oh, was that yours? I just can't. Mr. Producer suggests flowers and sun. If you wanted to make a flower. If, yes, if you were in for a flower card, that would definitely be a... Yeah, it can get pretty abstract. We do have a place on the submission form. By the way, could you please put both your names? And um, there is a place, though, that you can put an explanation. So... Um, if you think there's something that's just like, they're not going to figure this one out, what goes together well, please let us know. That would be great. So that, so that we don't get sun and cloud. Oh, there's so many things that can go together. Birthday and candle, birthday cake and candles. Um, sun, yep, sun and cloud, Arlene, you're right. Toys and boys. Yeah, boy toys. <laughs> Trees and birds. Lovely. Kerwin and Son, that's our kitty. Yes, yes, they go together very well. Paper piecing using pattern paper would be very pretty. Rain and rainbow, that's a great idea. I think we've got her. I think she's ready. Let's bring her back and see what she's got going on. Yeah. All right, Mari, what do you got for us? Okay, well... I picked a bunch of things that I don't know if I'm going to use everything, but correct. Yeah. Um, for my alpha, I picked this. Cute. Isn't that cute? It is. And um, I have the dies, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm probably just going to stamp. And gotcha. for the sentiment, I'm probably going to pick something from here. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that like a and, cookie one? Yeah, it kind of all goes oh. together. This is called, this is a baked with love set is what it's called. Uh -huh. And there's some really cute um, sentiments like you're one tough cookie. <laughs> Sorry to hear you're feeling crummy. <laughs> I like bad joke baked puns. With love, like there's a lot of really cute. And then 
there's dies so you can cut out the spatula or the bowl or whatever. And then this mm. die sets the cookie sheet. Oh, yes, I've seen that used. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'll use that, but I just thought I would have it on my desk just in case. Um, I know. I think I'm going to go with rainbow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So for my pre-printed, I think I'm going to use this. Sounds good. Yeah. And I think I'm going to make a five by seven card. Oh, yeah, I'm you're branching out on us. I thought yeah, for sure you'd go yeah. with the your uh, safe and sound. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, that's I good. I thought I'd mix it up a bit and do the do the five by seven. Well, I think those um, print those pieces all look like they would be good mm -hmm. being used on a yeah. So that's those are good choices. Yeah, I think they should okay. work. Do you have a favorite layout kind of thing that you often find yourself using? Like, I don't. I know, often but, use a diagonal pattern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on my designs not just in card making but scrapbooking I do a lot of scrapbooking as well mm -hmm. so I do find that um yeah I use a diagonal quite a bit how about you Mary you know I, I I wish I knew more I wish I analyzed myself more sometimes but I don't so I don't really know but I think it's interesting when I figure out when I I'm more of like a Oh, that's what you do? Well, you know, I've done that too. <laughs> so I tend yeah. to like grids a lot. So um, okay. I know that yeah. about me, but I do like grids a lot. And so sure. that is not a unusual thing for me to go that way. Okay. I'm going to cut a panel for the front of my card here. But then you got to throw in some diagonal to make it playful. So it doesn't get too stuffy. Right. Great. I think so too. What did I just say that was? Inch and a quarter and a half. Can't do it upside down and backwards. That's an inch and a half. Sorry right. for that noise. Well, progress is sel seldom quiet. <laughs> <laughs> There's my card, friend. And I think what I'm going to do is stamp my alphas on there. Uh, maybe I use I my mini misty. It's all shorter. This is the part that's hardest as we just get started. It's hard to talk and do this part and think. So bear with us as we get our get all situated. Yeah, exactly. Can I and get this we'll all roll. in frame? Oh well, yeah. I guess that all goes in. There. You're looking good there. Okay, good. Yeah, the veto messed with you, Mary. My sister was saying the yeah. veto messed with you because you can't do your grid. <laughs> I, you I think I still can fit it in. You, you can it's, still do it. Okay, right. Yeah. We can we yeah. can uh, we can do it despite that, right? Right. As long as it fits into the parameters, it's it's legal. Okay. I'm, so the, it. it just means that the wheel can't make us do it. And the wheel I loves to boss us around. It really, really does. <laughs> so, I mean, it gets enough power. We just don't have to give it all the power. Yeah. I'm going to, um, I'm going to stamp sure my alphas just randomly on here. Oh, so I like that use, look. Are I'm you going to use all one color? My favorite letters, which are my kids' initials. <laughs> that might work well that's a nice thing yeah yeah and you're real you were saying that you're really close to where they live now too yeah my daughter's oh, like five nice. minutes from my house yeah and our son just lives in um, the city to the north of us, Saskatoon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he's really close. Like it's a 20 minute drive to his house. Sweet. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we have, um, we have family are four are close to us too. And it's 
doesn't mean we see them very often, but they're close <laughs> and it's nice because mm -hmm. everybody's busy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when we yeah. moved here to this city, we we moved my mother-in-law with us as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she she lives here also. It, she has her own apartment, but, yeah. but she's um she's also nearby, which is really nice. I've got my sister's letter on there too. She's an <laughs> LL. Oh, um, let's making, see what else I pick. Getting lots. I guess I'll do an M for my name. <laughs> it's so handy that you have initials, isn't it? So you know what to use. <laughs> I do really like this S because it has stars on it. So we've got to use that. Oh. I like that too. I, I haven't like done a card too. with stars. I was thinking about that today. I was thinking I have not done a card with stars in ages. I don't know why. Stars are fun. I'm going to get a Q in there too. Let's see. I should pick one more letter. How about M? A bit of a random thing. Let's try it. Well, the O is too much like the Q. Let's try a K. There. That's pretty good. Oh, Kerwin. Kerwin's in here. I didn't know that. Kerwin is there. our little kitty. He's. Oh, okay. The black kitty that you were you posted today. <laughs> yes. Aww. Yeah. I love cats. A, I'm a huge he's a cat guy. fan. He's on my desk. Let's see if we can get him over right on the desk. There he is. Look how big he is. Aw. Hello, Mister. He looks like a nice, nice boy. He is a nice boy. Look at the camera. My, my son yeah. has cats. <laughs> <laughs> it was only momentarily <laughs> bossy. I was just being bossy just for a moment. Right, mister? I'm usually super nice. There you go. Okay, I'm Are you ready to come back out and see if there? we can find something else? Okay. <laughs> Here you go, big guy. Oh, PETA says hi. All right. <laughs> now I've got cat fur all over. It's awesome. That's all good. Oh, and that's a cute name. It is. I'm going to do some heat embossing. All righty. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Camera shy. Yes, he was a little camera shy, Leslie. He's not shy of, but he, you know, he loves thunderstorms, so he should be pretty happy tonight. He will sit outside and sit on the screen porch and listen to it. He's kind of a crazy guy. I'm okay with this. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down and then go from there. My daughter found Kerwin, which is the cat, right? She found Cute. him and he was fussing and wanting to be fed. He was about seven weeks old. We'd lost our 16-year-old cat two weeks before. Aww. So she said, oh, Mom, just, you don't have to keep him. <laughs> Let me just bring him <laughs> over. Just, I, you really don't have to keep him. And so she brought him over. And, well, of course, we kept him. But um, he's he's grown up. with. So he's se he was seven weeks old. Now he's going to be three this year so. I think. Aww. Or two. I don't know. But he's a doll. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of fun friends like kitty cats. Mm-hmm. I love cats. They're just so in do you have any? Do you have any We don't. We used to have a cat when our kids were little. Uh huh. And then when we lost that cute well. She, he died but when he died we didn't get another cat because at that point we were just kind of like too busy to have a pet right. um the kids were older and we were on the road lots and anyway um we don't but our son has two cats oh okay and so you get to see really, kitties yeah we babysit cat sit every once in a while and we just got off two weeks of cat sitting for one of my sons so nice. 
It was like, if I did it one more week, it would have become a habit. I did think at the end, of that, I'm not sure. I love those little things sticking out, but it's okay at this point. Um, after I he got back, it was I felt myself going, there's something I need to do. There's something I need to do. And it was, I felt like I needed to go see the cat. But <laughs> they were back and I was done. So Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to start up my heat tool here. All right. It should... It should be all right. Oh. Hey, look at all those cat lovers in the group. What's a card without a little cat hair? Well, it's, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing, Cordelia. <laughs> it's the pits. Okay, so if I put some strawberries down in here, pre-printed. What do we have here? Forest colors. We could have red birds, right? Red birds in the forest. We've got a lot of green here, some gray old funky trees that are getting all ashy and rotten um red zoom i think we're good i do and then friends make everything sweeter it's a nice thing so okay we're gonna be i'm gonna cut some of those out Yep. As soon, as soon as she gets off the heat tool, we will start asking your very good questions, you guys. Got to get some paper. So, what are you guys thinking for this one? Are you going to do... Um, are you gonna, how are you going to handle alpha stamps? I don't. Yeah, I'm going to use sentiments. That's how I'm doing it. Chocolate chip cookie. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I think I missed something. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. I think we've got some good embossing. Oh. The K didn't come out quite as good, but that's okay. You can cover it. I even yeah, have a exactly. honeybee intense black. I didn't realize that. I I've got could, it all. Uh, I could definitely cover it. Okay. That helps you know where to put everything. I think I'm going to do some ink blending, Mary. Oops. Oh, dang it. I moved my camera. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Producer. <laughs> You're fine. There we go. <laughs> I better do a couple extras in case I screw it up. I think it didn't hurt a thing. Okay, so I'm going to use some Distress Ink. I'm going to use some Kitsch Flamingo because I think in a tropical forest I could find pink. Oh, sure. Only Kitsch Flamingo ain't pink. That's the only mm -hmm. kind. Add a little saltwater taffy. Are you ready to answer these questions, ma'am? Sure. We've got some really nice ones. Yes, Red Woodpecker. Thank you, Roberta. Hey, I've missed you. You haven't been around lately. Thank you for showing being here and giving me that vote of confidence. Um, Kathy Pisupati asks, what is your most favorite card that you have made and um, one that you have held on to? Something you've held on to. This one. That's, oh, man, that didn't, I did not tell her beforehand. What no, the question I, was I always be. keep that, this on my shelf, though. When I'm working, I love that card. And That's that is key. not purple. No, I know, right? That was definitely team orange flavored. That was orange flavored for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but It was, was pretty. I do really love that card. Here's another one, too, Mary. I really like this one, and it's team blue. That is very pretty. Look how fancy mm -hmm. those are. You, What are you... How do you give so much? Get so much dimension? Do you just do layer lots upon of layer of foam? foam? Oh, I foam see. Between those layers, there, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. They're, That's a the lot of layers. stamps has a. They have a, a series of standalone dies called Lovely Layers. Mm hmm. And they're just really nice, just beautiful, beautiful dies for creating flowers, basically. Yeah. Is that what drew you first to Honeybee? Um, 
I just loved their stuff. Um, it's just a, it was always just a little bit different to me than what a lot of other companies were doing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just was drawn to, they had um, the size of their stamps to begin with when I first found them. They had just some really nice larger images, larger mm -hmm. stamps, um, beautiful florals as well, for sure. Um, yeah, just unique, very unique, very different. They just talk to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone you in just... the someone in the comments asked, "What is potash?" Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they use it in fertilizer, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We use it in fertilizer. And so in the, in our, where I am, um, obviously agriculture is huge here. Mm -hmm. So potash is pretty big deal. But how did they get potash? It's like a mining process, I believe. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Sounds like something you would make with a fire. Mm-hmm. It does. But, yeah. But, yeah. I was always confused. My grandfather had a post-retirement business of buying salvage. And I remember okay. him getting a potash train wreck. A train wreck full of potash. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was what my first... Thing I ever heard when I first heard about it when I was a, just a kid and I was puzzled by the name. Yeah. Potash. It's interesting. What could that be? Mm -hmm. Well, that was an easy question. Let's yeah, see. do you have another question? <laughs> Is there any <laughs> yes, other questions? Yes, I do. <laughs> Lisa Wopley asks, who had a really great a really great card this week, too, by the way. Lisa, I loved how you pulled in the uh valentine's day card with the bee the beehive it was very cute do you prefer to teach a class live in person in person live online or recorded and why oh good question um well it kind of depends on the situation like yeah if there's a, a lot of people and i'm a little bit nervous then i will record it um, okay. If it's also, if it's something where I think it's beneficial to, for me to be in the comments, then I'll record it because I find that if I'm crafting, I can't really focus on comments mm -hmm. when I'm teaching, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I do like teaching live. I, I do really like it. I mean, you know, having been an educator my entire life, basically, I've done, you know, talked in front of people my whole life. So it doesn't really bother me. But mm -hmm. um, but I can get nervous if it's kind of like a little bit more of a high pressure sort of situation. But, Do yeah. you ever have to use your teacher face when you're doing a live class? No. When they're in <laughs> when no. you've got a group a room full of crafters that won't no. hush up. No, not with crafters. Never use my teacher okay. face with crafters. Okay, good. <laughs> they can get a little rowdy too, I'm telling you. Chatty, I suppose. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna cut my mat out of this printed paper. What do you think of that idea? It's gonna be just beautiful. This is some Vicki Booten color study paper. Um, I was on the Vicki Booten design team for about a year and a half. Love Vicki so much. <laughs> and she just makes the most beautiful paper. That is very pretty. Mm -hmm. It sounds heavy. Is it very, very heavy? It's um, it's decently heavy for sure. Like uh -huh. you can just see here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's substantial. Mm -hmm. This is the single sheet stuff. Like if you bought it in a pad with other paper, it wouldn't be as heavy. But the single sheets are quite nice and heavy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. 
How's your card coming along there, Mary? It's looking good. Oh, it's, it's moving. You've got some strawberries. I'm not hitting my strawberries, <laughs> my strawberry tops here very well. <laughs> They're somewhat plucked. But I, I can fix it. <laughs> Maybe. Friends make everything sweeter. And you still need sweeter. It's kind of a shame to cover that up, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, boy. You don't get to see much of it at all, do you? No. I'm just wondering if I should do something different, if I should use a strip, mm -hmm. you know, through the middle. Might be worth it. Yeah. Pull it together mm -hmm. so that you can see it too. Do you have a favorite part of that paper that would look? Yeah, like I would say even just like down here at the bottom. I might do that. Mm -hmm. What's everybody in the comments think? It's really sad to cover this up, isn't it, everybody? I think it is. It would just be so pretty on the card front like that. Or if you had that card front like that, you could even use your alphabet as the strip or the accent yeah. instead of. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. well, I got a bird on there. Hmm. I got a blue. Yeah, it's very pretty paper. You're right. Heidi, it's gorgeous. I love it. I don't think I can cover it. So I'm just wondering, yeah, if I just cut a strip. <laughs> I can't cover it. It's too, sad. <laughs> too sad. Too sad to cover yeah. that. Okay, we've got to yeah. use a strip, everybody. We're going to use a strip. Then we can get the purple and the orange and the pink. And we might not get green in there, but that's okay. Let's try it. Use the paper. Yeah, I could use the paper on another card for sure. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. you I moved that? these it's this cool. week. Kind of nice. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. It right up. And then maybe what I'll do with my die is I'll cut a, I might cut a mat for the edge out of like black or something. Oh, yeah, something to tone it down a little bit and make it mm -hmm. more buffer it yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, man. Have you ever taught a French or a, a class in French, a crafting class? Because you speak I French. haven't. Not a crafting class, no. I mean, I... I guess I probably told you that I taught French for years. Um, you did when I was teaching, but yeah, I taught grade nine French for most of my career until the um, principal took French out of the curriculum at the school I was at. Yeah. That was a sad day. Yeah. Um, and then we nice. um, we shifted to they shifted me to teaching more English at the time, and then I ended up finishing my career in with guidance. Um, okay. Oh, go vertical to the one side. Oh, that's a good idea. Like this. Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. Yep, because you've got a lot of yeah. horizontal stuff with your letters. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Roberta. Um, but yeah, I was, I was, uh, I finished up as a guidance counselor. Did you like that? I loved it. It was all Did academic you? counseling. Okay. All right. Yeah, not it was emotional. personal counseling. It was academic. So I was like, you know, getting kids enrolled in their college courses and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, I was still teaching grade 12 English at that time, too. I was only guidance, I think, 40% of the time. Um, and then I was teaching English, but... Yeah, it was so good. Before so the, before the show started, I can't remember what you said, but you caught yourself with some grammatical awkwardness. And I thought, she's my kind of people. <laughs> well, I was reading, I was reading the, um, the message from the, whatever Mr. Producer was using there, OBS oh, Ninja yes. or whatever it was. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. it was, it was grammatically incorrect. Like I couldn't even read it. <laughs> it Isn't wasn't him. He didn't type it. It was from the program. <laughs> 
right it was from whatever program it was yeah program and be able to speak well too that's kind of a hard combination but i think it's out there yeah i think so there i covered up my boo-boos what did everybody that. think of this situation are we loving that or hating it or what are we thinking fun right it's, it is fun yeah yeah i like the black border idea so the paper that i chose for that is a sizzix um oh what surfaces paper and it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it oh that'll so be quite nice that would be a mm -hmm. nice a nice thing if we had shimmer as a fifth parameter the great way yeah. to sneak it in yeah exactly it's your fifth per parameter. There you go. Your very, very own. I love this though, Mary, because it's really, it's just like product, product play, right? I think so, so. It's just like having fun with your stuff and, and just trying things and messing around and enjoying the process. Well, I hope it's not any more than that because I won't be able to do it. And I've already done it 109 times. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to think about it much more than that, though, I'd, I'll start panicking. I love it. I can't do this show anymore. It's <laughs> too much. Yeah, that's. But I, I like how this. that's looking. Very vibrant. So have you ever been to a forest? And do you like forests? Do you like big trees? You're a prairie girl. Oh, no. I love forest. Where I'm from originally, where my husband and I raised our kids and before we moved to the city, um, it's in the northeast of our province and it's all forest. Okay. Like we didn't really live on the true prairie until we moved to the southern part. Of more, well, we're not really in the southern part. We're kind of in south, cent more central part. Um, mm -hmm. But when we lived where we, you know, raised our kids in that, it's all forest up there beautiful yeah um but a big our forest. favorite place on the planet is hawaii and oh. we really love maui and you know in maui you have like the tropical forest mm -hmm. there um all the different eco or is it ecosystems or whatever yes. it is like they have desert there they've got they do have a lot all the, all the things mm-hmm yeah, you can just go to another area and have some a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. And you can walk on the edge of a volcano. Absolutely. <laughs> well, so far, the questions haven't stumped you, which is not really the, the purpose anyway. But <laughs> um, but I do think they're very, they always send in really good questions. Um, Cordelia, who is not mm -hmm. English, but is Southern... Cordelia asks, mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. a lot of different types of paper crafting. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is your favorite? You do scrapbooking and you do card making and what yeah. else do you do? Do you do three? I do, 3D I do kinds lots of things? different types of art. Like I really love mixed media. If I'm being totally honest with myself, I would have to say that I just where I'm sort of like in the zone is when I'm diving into like paints and um you know using stencils and um you know using a lot of mixed media that's where mm -hmm. i kind of i feel like i just really love that mm -hmm. space what was the 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 light bulb moment with mixed media when you realized hey this isn't so hard it's just this, this, oh, and this. That's a really good question. Because um, it's a very intimidating. It's like, oh, it's so complex. It's not, I, to me, it's not terribly no. complex. But no. when you first look at it, it's there's so many layers. There's this, there's that. It's very organic looking. So it's hard. Like this little card is easy to dissect. It's like, oh, she's yeah. got some pattern paper here and here. But here. Uh, mixed media then you go oh but there's stencils and it's a little bit here it's a little bit you still do you still find that you use like the visual triangles and the same basic design things yeah i think so mm -hmm. yeah and i mean color theory and all that kind of stuff right like, right very much all part of it for sure 
So the more uh-huh. you get comfortable with those kind of things, the easier all yeah. all crafts can do, I think. Yeah. 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 yeah I think well, so. I, I think that's a mixed media is is lovely. Um, it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I really love it. And I love I just love to. I used to do a lot of acrylic painting, painting with acrylics. Oh, okay. and, mm-hmm. um, you know, over the years painted furniture and stuff like that oh. like designs on furniture and yeah it's been a long sort of a evolution <laughs> to the place where I am right now that's for sure yeah yeah you gotta kiss a lot of toads before you become a good card maker <laughs> but I love to make <laughs> media cards I really love oh, to yeah. like I know on patreon a few times here I've used my gel plate to make cards. Um, I think I have one on YouTube too. I think this dime is too big for the little bitty buzz cutter. This is the bitty buzz cutter, by the way. Oh, from Honey so Bee. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> it works really well, but it you have to have the right size of die to use it. But it works really well for your small dies. He's a cute little guy. Good question, Cordelia. Wait, do we want something? I didn't use any purple for you. I was thinking I'd use some purple, but I forgot. I've got some orange on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're nicer than I am. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's Shoot. all good. It's all good. <laughs> Okay, what am I missing for my parameters at this point? Anything? I have my alpha, my tropical forest colors, goes well together, the pre-printed. Hmm. I think I should be okay. You I'm thinking of putting my circle here. Myself. What's What do you think of that, Mary? I like it. I like things to be toward the bottom for weight. I mm-hmm. get a little nervous when it's floating. Mm-hmm. But... Um, it's like I, I feel like it's gonna fall. <laughs> it's like, oh no, your focal point's gonna float off the card. <laughs> please, I please put it I, down. <laughs> if I should put, should I put this little bowl in the corner? It is a cute Do I have time? Bowl. Oh yeah, you've got time. You're doing great. Okay. We're doing fine. Okay, good. And we have more questions. Heck. Okay. Awesome. We got to have, we got to keep crafting so we can ask these questions. Sure. Dina Hiltbrand asks, you seem to have a, you seem to have lots of different styles. This is kind of similar to the other one of card making and scrapbooking on your Instagram account. Do you have a favorite style or do you dabble in many? Well, you kind of answered that a little bit. And we talked I about mean, your favorite. I, I feel like I probably in my scrapbooking, um, and even in my card making too, I really do like to include lots of white space when I can. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of clean mixed media, I would say. Right, right. If that makes sense for the most mm-hmm. part. But I'm there, definitely no, all over. Definitely. I'm all over the place. I really am. Like, it's very true. Yeah, there's um, there's clean mixed media, which sounds really funny, but it really, there really is. I was commenting hmm, hmm, what's her name cat's hand i think it was and she had something she does these cute little books she's quite talented and um she did a a little page and her mixed media style is very organized and and it's it's organized enough that it looks like it was intended but it's organic enough to look like it was just kind of like, wow, how'd she put all that stuff together and make it work? So she cool. will find um, commonalities in color or commonalities in, okay, in textures sure. and different things like that. And that's kind of how she works with that. And it's, but it's a, I, I think that works with that, with the yeah. whole um, mixed media kind of conversation. Sure. But, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's there's different mixed medias. Then there's the kind that they just paint wildly, <laughs> and, and it turns yeah. out great. I know, and, right? Yeah, and there's just a it's a very large table that we sit at. <laughs> this table of crafting. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And we get to see that with um, our card contributions every week. That everybody's got their their uh, thing to offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like that. I love it, too. Yep. Shouldn't just be a few of us, but many of us. Mm-hmm. We all have something. Yeah. We all have exactly. something unique. Definitely. So good The biggest thing for guys. me is just enjoying the process, enjoying what I'm doing. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Do your kids craft at all? Are they artistic or? No, no. no. They're very, um, like, my daughter's a nurse, really, you know, science. They're very science people, sciencey people. Mm -hmm. okay. um, my, our son's an engineer. Like, he's, like, they're both really smart with math and that kind of stuff. Leaves me um, out. Yeah. So no, they're, they're not. And I mean, like my son, when he was little, I'd buy him coloring books and try to encourage mm -hmm. him to express creativity and drawing <laughs> and stuff, but he wasn't into it. Our daughter was for when she was little. Sure. Um, but as she got older, she, you know, she grew less interested mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. I remember, uh, not Mr. Producer, but his brother, I gave him a piece of paper and some crayons, and he just started, and he was pretty young, and he just started coloring with a black crayon all over, and I thought, oh my gosh, what's wrong with him? <laughs> and, <laughs> he's He's got some kind of problem that he's only doing black black crayons. Just black. <laughs> and just black. Is, he like, I don't play the Rolling Stones. It's not like that kind of stuff. But um, he was, uh, and he said, I'm asphalting the road. Oh, and interesting. So his, uh huh. So in his, he was very he creative. Loved, I know. He loved roads and construction and things like that. He didn't do anything like that. But, um, but in his brain, that was just what he was doing, and he was having the best time doing it. Aw. That's super cute. Well, I guess I should try to get a little bit of Crafter's Companion in here, huh? Sure. We're going to have a pink rubber scraper or pinky purple. There's your purple. Yeah. Have you ever tried the tri blend markers? I have. I have some. Yep. Good. Yeah, they're really nice. I love them. I like their finer point than Copics. Mm -hmm. But I like Copics too. Pardon. Yeah, I, I have the I have Copics too. These guys need some shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shake. How are you guys doing? I haven't checked with you lately. I like your strawberries. Well, I bet they're sweet as they can be, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <coughs> Andy Ooh, Zach this asks, this Are you ready? Metallic. Yeah. Oh, fun. How do you recommend card makers step into the world of mixed media with a limited budget? Oh, okay. Let me think on that for half a second here. I would say <laughs> definitely like um, stencils are a great yeah. way to start because stencils are pretty inexpensive mm -hmm. and you can actually even make your own stencils. Right on. Um, <clears throat> just like the prime, even just get like, if you had the primary colors of paint, then you can make the secondary colors. So I would say, you know, um, 
don't know, that's, that's what I would say. Like, just really keep it basic and mm -hmm. try out some really, really simple supplies. If you get like a liquid watercolor, you, once again, you could get the primary colors and do some mixing. Yeah, that is good stuff. Yeah, that's good. Good info. Because if you're a card maker, chances are you probably have a lot of stuff that you can use for mixed media. Oh, yeah. I think so. You, you can, can just like rest. inexpensive watercolor, like you can get the little inexpensive watercolor palettes at craft stores or like even the dollar store. And praying, you baby, I love my prangs. <laughs> yeah, you I can got, do some I have stuff cheap stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I have you lots of cheap need... You don't need the really expensive stuff. Mm -mm. <clears throat> no, and you can also use books and calendars and all those kind yeah. of things for ripping up paper, tissue paper. Yeah, for um, collaging. Mm -hmm. all, and all your old scraps, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you, yeah, chances are you probably have almost everything you need. Just yep. dig in and start playing. Absolutely. Gosh, maybe we should add mixed media to the parameters. That would be everybody. Oh, that would be fantastic. That would make them run to the corner. <laughs> might be some vetoes. <laughs> might be a few vetoes on that. There might be <laughs> some vetoes and some yeah. tears. Yeah. But Only it because isn't. Like, it isn't. people people are a little intimidated because like right. you know they just haven't tried it you know and then exactly once they try it they're like oh wait this isn't so this isn't so, this isn't this so isn't mysterious yeah yeah it's not like the fresco of the Sistine Chapel ceiling mm -hmm. yeah exactly. That's Kathy hard. said, she, or Anna says she's a tri-blend marker fan. Me too. I love them. <laughs> I do like having those three colors all at one time. It's Right? Yeah. So good. You don't have to be searching for things. Arlene, you didn't, they didn't have any mini, mini calendars. Shucks. There you go, shacks and like robot. We had, we had uh, <laughs> I had robots on the parameters, and it was often vetoed, and nobody <laughs> wanted it. And I kept those darn robots on there, <laughs> and then when we got them, it was like, it's a fabulous gallery. I can't remember what number it was, but it was a fabulous gallery. People just knocked it out of the park being creative awesome. and what coming did they do? up with things. One was made out of paper clips, for instance. Oh, I mean, that's who, fun. Yeah. Who, could, who knew that was coming? I sure didn't. Yeah. And, um, and they, they ended up finding robots <laughs> to add. And, and people had ordered, they did order some robot stamps and things like that just to be prepared because they didn't want to get caught not having everything. But yeah, it's a great gallery. I bet. Um, I actually have a honeybee robot stamp. See, you would have been fine. Yeah. I'll I show you what. Actually, um, yeah. Show me what you made. Do you have it? I don't know where mine is, but um, oh, okay. this is the one that Therese Calvert made, and it was a little monster. Oh, I love that. I know, isn't it fabulous? Oh, it's got a wobbler. And then she That's just drew, cute. I can't remember, something was coming out of it. Oh, yeah, that was the little one that I hated. I did make mine, and I hated it. But um, it, something, it, something dropping out of it was part of the parameters, and so she just drew this little slot and added oh, this little okay. thing coming out. And, but it was that. a little monster, and she had never used it before. Super cute. So it was I pretty like, fun. I, mean, I like that metallic pen. Yeah, she was, <laughs> she was a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. But we, you're right, Anne. We were afraid of those dumb... Those dumb 
robots, and I was the only one that really made a crummy card. It was a ticket. Oh, it was a ticket. The ticket had to come out, or drop out of something. Or, I can't. It was. Is that what it was? Tick. No. The ticket had to come out somehow, no, or it was drop. Just a ticket, was so, a parameter. ticket was a parameter. Drop down was a yeah. parameter drop down too. Card. Drop down card. Oh, the things that I've, we've done, you guys. I don't like that. Fun. It's too short, but I don't. Oh, I want another fun, one. Fun, fun. I think I do, even though it's four. Oh, dear, I'm leaking. <laughs> so strawberries go well. Strawberries go well with strawberries. Mm -hmm. Strawberries go well with friends. Go make Friends make things sweeter. Friends and sweetness go together. Love it. I'm being very abstract tonight. Yeah. Obtuse, sure. perhaps. <laughs> To a point of being obtuse. <laughs> it's my, it's like my it. forte. Deputy, Deputy Heidi, am I okay? Am I, do I need to do anything to make this better? I need to put some white on this. This is kind of dark. And we have one more question. Are you have it? You have it in you. Teach for one oh, more question. Sure. Absolutely. This is a question from our viewer and friend, Grandma Gay, and we always call it Grandma Gay's thoughtful question of the day. Okay. And um, she always has real interesting, insightful questions. So as, as all of you have really asked really good questions, but what scene of nature refreshes you the most? Which is interesting because you were telling us about nature and your thoughts on such. Yeah. So is there a, what refreshes you? Oh, gosh. I, I think like being near water. Mm-hmm like the ocean or the lake that kind of thing just breathing in that fresh air that's rolling in off the water kind of thing i love that and the rhythm of the sounds do you like that does yeah. that yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah so good it is so just um takes you different places mm -hmm. Question is, what do we want to do here? Do we want to put the spoon and the spatula in the bowl or just down here beside on the bottom kind of thing? Well, they would go together somehow yeah. or other, wouldn't they? They go together with the bowl. Maybe just kind of like over to the side of the bowl. Not sure yet. Wild strawberries, Wild strawberries yeah. Wild strawberries are one of the favorite things that... Somebody must eat in forests, but it's just forest colors. It's not necessarily well, a forest. Very literal. Anything, any color, I think, would be. Yeah, maybe it. not. You could justify it. There's probably even some bacteria that's like neon. <laughs> Funguses. <laughs> yeah, funguses among us. Fun, <laughs> Mushroom. Yeah, those could even have some neon colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it you could you could go kind of crazy this week. Is your Just card tell done us what here? You're thinking. Oh, I don't know. I might fiddle with it a little bit. I haven't done anything inside. Yes, friends make friends and sweetness. Friends make everything sweeter. They go together. Friends and sweetness. I'm, it's abstract. I am, yes, abstract to being obtuse. That's okay. How are you doing? Me? Yeah. Pretty good. I'm just, I'm just going to stop my sentiment. I haven't looked up lately. Have a great birthday. Do you do a lot of birthday? Is that like one of your go-to lots and lots of birthday cards or? I would say that I need <clears throat> birthday cards more than anything else. Mm-hmm. 
Are you good at sending them out? I've got my uncle's birthday was Thursday, and his cards up and just waiting. <laughs> it was I mean, made though. I do. I definitely do send some birthday cards for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, Mary! I double stamped. Ah, oh. I'd do it again. It happens. Just squint. Yep. My mother-in-law used to say, can't tell on a galloping horse. <laughs> Which was really funny because she was quite the perfectionist. That's so funny. Well, chance, <laughs> or, um, as it happens, I have like one trillion little scraps of white cardstock here in my space. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I could have just flipped it over too. It does kind of accumulate. How how small does a piece of paper have to be to get thrown away? Oh boy, pretty tiny for me. <laughs> I hear ya. But my I think so my too. craft space is just so um, overflowing with stuff. Mm, I need to it do does a, get there. a purge. Oh. How old is your oldest stamp, Mari? How old do you think it is? Oh, gosh. I have some Stampin' Up! stamps that are probably um, like 20 years old. Yeah. <clears throat> There's oh, some yeah. that I can't get rid of. Like, um, oh, gosh, can I even remember? I think it was called Lovely Tree or something like that. But it's a stamp that obviously has trees on it. And um, I still have it because, you know, it's just a really gorgeous basic yeah i think that was in their catalog for a long time wasn't it i think so yeah i think it was just retired in the last few years okay they finally well, I just they probably remember. put got some other tree stamp to replace it or something right. but how about you what's your oldest stamp well, mine would be about the same. It would have been about 1997. Yeah. And it would have been a close to my heart stamp because I went to a party and okay. that's when the, the love started. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was yep. just sort Whitney's of something. Message. It was Whitney's message and I think I still have it. Okay. Cool. It was a real cute, you know, the it was a... It was the style that had lots of little dots, and it was country looking, and it had little puff sleeves. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. 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 So dateable, but yeah. so cute. Yeah. Well, we'll look back on the stuff we are, think is, you know, so now, so mm -hmm. you know, right now, in a few years, and feel the same way. Probably so. Isn't it hard to believe? Because it's so cute right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lovely okay. as a tree is what Melissa says. Oh, lovely and did as it a tree. Just, was it just retired about a year ago or something like that, Melissa? Last year. Anne of Green Gables. Yes. One of my favorite books. Nice. Canadian. Good choice. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Puff sleeves. Lucy, yeah, you Lucy. remember that, don't you, Rosie? Lucy Maud yep. Montgomery. Yeah, brilliant. It's a brilliant book. Mm -hmm. I have to read out of it every once in a while just to make me feel like I'm, I'm living the best life. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. So fun. Jackie, I got a bonus point. Was it for being obtuse? <laughs> <laughs> are we giving bo are we been giving bonus points for obtuse now? Being obtuse. Because I'm pretty good at it. Because <sighs> I can just jump right into things without anybody understanding where I am. And <laughs> trying to make robots happen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, they're coming back, those robots. They they never leave style, do they? No, I don't think so. Uh, they're just they're just there to amuse us. Yeah. I think so too. <laughs> oh, that's coming together so well. 
Yeah, come along. I'm just trying to decide really what to do with bowl. these um, utensils. If I should put them kind of like upside down in the bowl like that. Like cut the bowl open and slip them in. Or, mm -hmm. or just laying on the side or... Yeah, maybe just it might balance it to put them oh, kind of over here a little bit. Or here, kind of horizontally across the bottom. Mm -hmm. Something like that. What do you think, Mary? I like or the horizontal button. part. Because mm -hmm. you've got some other, I think that would be good. Like and that. give you a little diagonal too. Mm -hmm. So you got a little play in there. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. So Honeybee Stamp says a, they have a brand new release coming out today, tonight. You had something coming, another video or something coming out tonight, don't yeah. you? Tonight, yeah. <clears throat> so tonight at 9 p.m. Uh, well, I guess it would be um, 8 p.m. your time. I don't know, 9 p.m. my time. So I guess 10 p.m. your time, Mary. Okay. Um, I have a video going up on YouTube sharing the the new release from Honeybee. Oh, good. And they have a live release party. Fun. After I think after we're done here. And yeah, it'd be fun for them. That'll be good. Birthday How theme. often do they do that? Um, <clears throat> they do that at least at least three times a year, sometimes four. More often mm -hmm. now than they did when I first started working for them. Yeah, so it's hard to keep up. Yeah, and they um like definitely have experienced the same thing everybody else has with the supply chain. So okay, yeah. I think it's messed with a few things over time. Yeah, but no anyway, doubt. I'm going to give my bowl some dots. <laughs> Sherry, what goes together, what um goes well together are friends and sweetness. Yes. Yes. So I've got my pre-printed paper. I've got my friends and sweetness going together that friends make everything sweeter. And my forest colors are green and gray and red, which I think could be found in a forest. Strawberries. Cardinals, strawberries, there's lots of red. Literal. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Literal. Little berries. So we're, literally oh, <laughs> and literally strawberries. <laughs> and uh, alpha stamp are my, is my sentiment. So nice. that's what. That's how I'm justifying everything, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm going to hold. So can you see it better up if I hold it up here a little bit? Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Yeah. And I didn't stamp the tops on very well, so I went ahead and uh, added a little bit of pencil. Because <laughs> I was just I missed I, love it. I just missed and i didn't want to pull out a stamp position or whatever mm -hmm. so so okie doke are you at a stopping point you think me yeah i'm getting close pretty close okay yeah. all right like stopping point you mean is in done yeah done enough yeah, no, I'm just gonna you, add, you'll, I'm gonna you can always little... come back and then add and and make yeah. it perfect. All right, I'm just gonna add this little piece of paper in, and then I'm gonna be all done for tonight. Per oh well, there you go. Do you ever come back oh. and look at it and go, oh, "I'm gonna do this or that or the other"? Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes it that does. Help. I just wanted to add that little bit of black over there to the side. Yeah. I might have to move it down a little bit, but you're good. That's good. You want yeah. to hold it up so we can see it real close yeah, now that you've got sure. that? And there's all those. Yeah. And you want to explain how you worked that all those parameters in there? Sure. Yeah. So I've got my alphabet there. And I've got my my forest colors <laughs> are the rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. And so like in a tropical forest, I think it would be pretty. Mm -hmm. um, then I have... So it goes well together. I just think like the bowl and the spoon and the spatula. Mm -hmm. 
and pre-printed, I have the print, printed paper. Yeah. Yeah. You did it. I did it. Woohoo. You did it. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> She's got a big smile on her face. I can see her. She's yeah. <laughs> you did you well. well. It's a little you. bit different, isn't it? But we'll talk yeah. about that in just a minute. We've got a little bit of housekeeping sure. to do. Some okay. giveaways. If you guys send in the cards last week, you make sure you stick around so we can see if you win something. And, okay, all right. And then um, we, what else? Anyway, we've got some housekeeping. Mr. Producer, okay. get us started. Relax just a minute while you can, Mari. We'll be right back with you. You guys get to play along. I think you'd have fun with these parameters because they're pretty wide open. I'm going to enjoy watching to see what you guys come up with. Just complete your own unique project and send it to craftsroulette.live. There's a fabulous form. Uh, make sure you fill everything out. First name, last name, all works very good. It helps us out a lot to have every, all the information. It won't even let you go forward. You have till Sunday night at midnight central time. Or if you're a patron, you have till Thursday night central midnight central time. It pays to be a patron if you're a busy, busy person. And that is at craftroulette.live. Next week, we will be giving away a $25 gift certificate to Honey Bee Stamps. So that's going to qualify you also when you send in as a card for that giveaway. So, oh, we have some great guests coming up. Didn't, didn't we have a great guest tonight? I think we did. We also have some more great guests coming. We had Ar we have Ardeth next week, another Canadian. Then we have another Canadian. Then we have almost a Canadian because she's really in Montana, and that's pretty... Idaho. 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 So that's pretty far north. Then we have a new um, guest crafter, Desiree, who is a hoot. And I think she's going to keep me on my toes. I'm going to have to get some naps in before she comes on. And then our friend Lauren Taylor will be back. Hopefully, we will be able to have Abby on just a little bit of that show, too. So stay tuned every Friday night, 630, or watch our replays anytime you feel like it. We do want to thank our patrons. We are community-sponsored. Look at all those fine, fine people. We, again, if you can't support us financially like with a, as a patron, don't worry about it. I know times are a little bit hard right now. But if you can, we really appreciate it. And I think we have made a patron community with bonus stuff that is worth it. It's just like over-the-top fun. Um, and it's just getting better and better. So check it out. I rewrote all of our benefits this week. I got a headache doing it, but I tried really hard to make it clear and understandable. And you can go to Mary Gun Fun Patreon and see all about it. It's also probably down in the description. But look at all you fine, fine people. I will be spending some time with our club fun people tomorrow with Scrapbook Game. I'm looking forward to that a lot. Thank you, guys. I sure had fun on that call last week, too. Excellent fun. Oh, I love this part. This is the giveaway part. We're going to give away some goodie bags and a handmade card with an itty-bitty gift. And then next week is when we do the Honey Bee gift certificate. The, um... If you set in a card, your name is on this wheel. And it is random. It's programmed to randomly select somebody. Your name will light up if it lands on you. So let's do it for a goodie bag, Mr. Producer. Zoom fun. It was fun, wasn't it, Cordelia? <laughs> it is kind of terrifying, Lynn. <laughs> Sometimes it is very terrifying. But most of the times it's fun. Who is it going to light up? It's Rosie B. Rosie B, you have till midnight on Sunday to let me know that you are interested in a wonderful goodie bag do filled with goodies from donated from our fun friends. Let's do it again. Well, you know, I think sometimes you get, if you finish because you're like nervous that you won't finish, then you finish. So... Yes, you, Rosie B. Please send me your address so I don't have to find it. That would be great. Oh, oh who's it going to be? San Stacy Fryer, Freer. You've been with us a long time, Stacy. Make sure you let me know and send me your address so I don't have to look it up because I'm lazy. The truth. Let's do a handmade card with a nitty bitty gift. 
Smash that like. Thank you, Debbie J. Yes, please. If you did like the show, the content, it will help you find more things like us. Like, is there more like this? I don't know. Probably some crafting fun. Live, live crafting. It will give you some live crafting, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh. There's Kendra. It just happens to... It's just when they come in, they go on, and you just never know. You want to do one more for a goodie bag? We've got lots of goodie bags. Yeah, so maybe if... Yeah, it's programmed. It's all random. It's fun to see everybody that sent in cards. You oh, There's 118. Oh, Carmen! Carmen, I know you're in touch, so let me know. I don't think I have your address, though. So let me know. We'll send you a goodie bag full of yummy, wonderful goodies, except I wouldn't suggest you eating any of them. Well done. Thank you, guys. There she is. There she is. Look how relaxed, happy. <sighs> What'd you think? Oh, it was fun. I loved it. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Did you get a little a little flutter in your tummy when you saw those parameters? Or you just went, I got it. No, no, I I didn't. You're because seasoned. I knew that we are a team and we'd figure it out. And no, it's it's great. And I love the participation from the viewers and it's awesome. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll be fun to follow. They also will go ahead and send in their cards early they'll put it on the website which is where you're officially entered but then they'll put it on facebook also so we can start talking to them and 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 enjoying them and telling them why we love it so much so Excellent. it that'll be all weekend and it's a lot of fun yes lynn i like that team cr <laughs> i do like that yeah. <laughs> so yep yeah it's a very wonderful group we're we're very delighted to have so many nice friends in our in our group Absolutely. so it's great Absolutely. do you have anything else you want to tell your adoring fans oh your website is right there down in the title okay. you can click right sure. on that it will take you to a new okay. browser sure. and you can hit yeah. subscribe and you that can learn awesome. about our patreon and you can hit and you'll be if you hit subscribe then you will see her videos more and you've got mm -hmm. 800 videos to watch I think there's over 800. I think I'm, I have almost a hundred, I have over 160 on Patreon and that on YouTube I've got, yeah, it's, I think it's over 800. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. And do you, are they mostly um, process videos or are they live or just a mix? Mm -hmm. Well, lately I've posted a few more lives, but um, they're mostly, they're basically process videos with mm -hmm. voiceovers. Yeah. Those are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Those are on purpose. See, but you're very purposeful and I'm scatterbrained. So you can do that. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I've watched point. people that do voiceovers and they're a lot, um, you know, really scripted and stuff. And I don't, I'm not that organized. My voiceovers aren't scripted at all. But yeah, I thought um, you did a great job on your one script, scripted line tonight. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I thought you so just dramatic. handled it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll have to have some more parameters on that. Say it in your lowest voice. <laughs> Say yeah, it in exactly. your most <laughs> Shakespearean voice. Say it yeah. in your whatever voice. Absolutely. Squeaky high voice. Anyway, that was fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. This is the time of night where we say thank you and kiss our brains. Get the weekend started with a little... Because we did some crafting. We're all relaxed now. And our brains are all got... All the creative juices are started. Kiss our brains. Oh, it feels so good. Is there something about it? I'm telling you. One for you, chatterboxes. Appreciate y'all. See you on the web or on the Facebook. Mr. Producer, you know you got to get yours. <laughs> Take it like a man. <laughs> and one for you, Miss Mari. Aw, <laughs> oh thank got you. Right, right back at you, Mary. Thank you <laughs> thank guys you so much. Thank you so much. much for being here tonight. Go join her on and see what's coming out of Honey Bee Stamps because you may win a $25 right. gift certificate 
to and get one of those new products next week. Send in those cards. We'll see you. Take care. Have a wonderful week and love you all. Bye-bye.